What's up? I'm back on Sunday. Sunday morning. Hey, Google, turn the light on. Hey, Google, turn the light on. Fucking hell, Google. Okay, there she did it. All right, anyways, it is Sunday. It is, it's eight right now. I woke up about an hour ago. <sighs> Things got to be said about this, all right? Things need to be said because I'm not fucking making these videos to be entertaining. I know even me watching them back, they're not fucking entertaining. That wasn't the whole point. The point of the shit, so I do it every day and I have zero excuses to do it. It's accountability. So it's not a fucking entertainment. I know probably... I, I can literally see from the engagement if I look it up, but I don't really look at it. I don't really look at any of the metrics. I delete it up. Like, I, I don't really, I just post a video and just, I don't even have YouTube anymore. So I don't watch YouTube technically. Um, I rewatch some of these videos just so I can like, I mean, kind of improve a bit. I don't know if I look at the workout or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what I, I don't know. I, I do it always in the morning. I can't remember what exactly I do it for, but I do it every morning. Um, my brain obviously isn't functioning, as you can see. But these aren't to be fucking entertaining. It's just to fucking hold me accountable. Like today, didn't fully wake up at 6 a.m. Woke up at 7. It's a Sunday. The reason I let myself do this is because I can't work today, or I can work today, and I'm going to put probably like two, three hours in. Um, and me saying that means I gotta fucking do it. But nobody is taking calls today, um, closing wise. So like, I don't have anybody to be on with. So if I do be on, I'll probably be the only one on working. So because it is a Sunday. Day of rest, but we're doing chest. So I'm gonna get into chest. I'm gonna make my pre workout and then uh, just fucking hammer my chest. Did I also mention that it's fucking day 90? That's it's literally three months of this shit. It's a long time. I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best pre workout ever. Ingredients you're gonna need. All right, so you're gonna need ice. You're gonna need a shaker bottle with a shaker. You're gonna need rice lemonade pre-workout. You're gonna need element raspberry salt packets. And then you're gonna need lemon cod liver. So that's oil, not just the cod liver. Um, you're also gonna need water. But these are the ingredients. The flavor is obviously raspberry lemonade. What you want to do is grab your pre-workout. I always throw this, I always throw a little bit of ice in, either before or after. It doesn't matter at all. A um, little bit of heaping scoop like this. Pre workout, and then you're gonna take your salt packet and rip it in there as well. Once you've done that, if I can get this to me, it already smells good. This is this is making my mouth water already. I swear, if you guys try this, it's fucking amazing. It's actually so good. Um, And it's healthy, non-GMO, grass-fed, psych. And then I'm almost out of water, so I'm not getting water. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna get water and then. All right, grab more water. Just fill it to the to the brim. 
And this is not helpful advice. Don't take this advice to uh, make this stuff on your own. This is just a little concoction I like to do. And I forgot to format the SD card. So just remember that. Anyways, I didn't mention you want to add pink Himalayan sea salt. You don't want to add too much because you already have a salt packet and that has sodium in it. So, get all that, put the cap on, on your metal shaker bomb because of microplastics. Or if it's plastic, it's got to be that, whatever, non-PCO, whatever the fuck. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, now, this is the part where mixed up. I forgot to show you what it would look like, but it doesn't matter. You probably know what it looks like inside. It looks different sometimes. You want to shake it. Alright, once it's fully shaked, you open the cob liver oil. Tastes like beef jerky. And the beef jerky tastes like um, lemonade and raspberry lemonade and fucking salt all in one. I actually love it. It's literally the perfect combination. I'm not even kidding. You just have one swig of cod liver oil, but you put it down with the pre workout. Oh. That, that makes you feel good. All right. I'll show you guys what I'm thawing right now. Sirloins. Sirloins for... Not dinner. I do like a dinner lunch. I call it supper, dinner, whatever the fuck. Anyways, I'm going to chug this shit. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to go outside on this beautiful day later today and do something. I might go read outside if it's nice. I might just go outside after. Fuck. Let's go. Someday. Bro, I can't believe it's day fucking 90. What am I doing? I wanna look, like I've made a lot of fucking progress. Like you guys don't understand the shit that's happened in the last fucking three months. I make it at the beginning of the year because it's month five. Okay, so I didn't. I made it in like the beginning of February, I think is when I started. So, yeah. But my progression is fucking pretty, pretty freaking good over this last three months. That's crazy. All right, I'm going to get into the fucking workout. Let's go. All right, so the camera died as soon as I turned it on. So I had to go get a new battery. Anyways. <laughs> Just imagine, did a set, 145 benching, for like, I don't know, I don't know, like a little bit over 10, maybe like 12, 13.
uh, I'm going to do that same weight again, to be honest. All right. I'm going to pretty exhaust with the cables, though, because it was, it was not really feeling it in my chest. I felt it a lot in my shoulders. So. Like I said before, we're doing very few sets. Two sets. So this is my last set. Just got to fucking make it count. Oh. Two sets of each thing, so. I mean, we'll just do a couple more movements, but less sets, less volume, more intensity. All right. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna do the pre-exhaustion first. Fuck, I might just do another one of those. I'm not limiting myself. Yeah, I'm gonna do another. Alright. It should be the last one. something else for a bit and then end it off. Let's go. Alright. Do a couple sets of this. And then be done.
الحمد لله two more sets after, but I didn't film it, so. Upper chest. It's not really like a, a thing like you can just grow your upper chest. You kind of have to fucking grow the whole thing. Um, two upper chest movements like um, incline press and that shit is gonna hit this I think a bit more. But I mean when I I'm just trying to grow my whole fucking chest because it, it'll grow with it, right? Like I don't know. I just like don't feel like there's a way to not do it. I, I I fucking love flies. I wish there was a fly machine. I'm gonna go to a. I'm thinking. In about a month. So thirty days from now. I'll be pretty peaked, not peaked, but like, <laughs> I'll be like fucking lean, a lot leaner, like veins popping out, like looking crazy, and then maybe have like a pound of muscle on me, as well. Um, pound more muscle, so look just fucking way better. Go to a commercial gym, get a crazy ass, like full upper body pump with Ethan, and then have him just take fucking photos so I can, uh, you know, have them so I can change my fucking profile picture and, uh, yeah have like photos of me looking fucking insane so that's the goal is just to get to that point arms arms for sure need to grow for that so more of the fucking whatever these call when i have the cable and i'm right here tomorrow oh my gosh i love them so much also forearms forearms would be nice But, um, yeah, I'm not fucking too upset about this. It's pretty freaking good. Definitely can get leaner. Like, my abs, if they come out and I, and I get better V taper because I take off, you know, this low handle uh, handles, um, chest growth. Shoulder width growth, traps, um, legs. I fucking hate legs. Because of just my back. I just need. This is a problem, guys. I don't fucking stretch. And that's why I hate legs. Like, I, I like legs. If I have a machine and I'm not doing squats every single day, I'm fine. Like, that's, that's good. Like, if I have like a leg extension and a hamstring curl, and a fucking leg press, even just a leg press, to substitute it for a damn squat. I'd way rather do that. 
but I don't have it. So I'm not going to go to a commercial gym for another couple months just because I want to get fucking insane. And I don't need to. Like, I'm not trying to drive. I don't fucking have a good car. Like, I'm not trying to drive. If I had a good car, and it was like a nice car, shit, I would do that, maybe. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I don't have a real good car, so it's, it's kind of fucking of a, a, a pain. If I do buy a car eventually, which, I mean, it, I could buy a car right now. Like, I could just fucking go buy a car. But it would be just kind of stupid, because I have other investments that would make me more money. It's just kind of stupid. I don't need one. So. And if I buy one, like, I don't fucking want to stay here anyways. Like, six months down the road, seven months, I'm hoping I can just be gone and just hopping Airbnb to Airbnb. I won't need a car. Like, if I can just live downtown places, um, I won't really need a car. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, that's probably when I will go to Thailand, maybe. Or do a Europe trip or some shit. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I'll plan it out when the time comes. But I think the next seven months, six months, until this lease ends, I just have to put my head down, stick to the shit, grind this shit the fuck out. And I'm swearing a lot. But it's because that is a good amount of time. That was a long time. This summer is going to be amazing. Getting tan, getting shredded. Um... Focus on these videos, working, making money, building up fucking just a really, really fat pipeline. And uh, having just, just stacking. Like all the guys that I was talking to, closers, like they, um, like people giving me advice, they're just like, dude, just stack. You're 19. Just like fucking, just work your nuts off and just stack cash for a long time. And then make money with the money. Like, cause I, I literally have a bot that will make me fucking, if I have a hundred grand in it, it'll make me five, five K a month easy. Like a hundred grand just in this thing. That's literally double my living expenses. Over double, over double my living expenses. I, I, I don't need much to live, but, um, yeah, that's actually insane. So, I mean, I stack a hundred grand into this account. Just let it do its thing. I'm pretty much set up for life. <laughs> Which is fucking insane. Isn't that crazy? Um, but obviously I'm going to continue working like a you know, hundred grand long term. It's really nothing. Like that's like fucking a couple years of living. But if it's making it for you, it's passive. Whatever. I'm going to do it. <sighs> so stack. This next, I'm I was talking about the next seven months. So get shredded, get tan. Have something to fucking look at when I go do my travels and stuff like that. So if I can transition out of sales and I don't have to be on the phone every single day with people, I don't have to do that. I can just make these videos and make money from making these videos. Or I know I know sales and how a business works, so I can build my own shit. Obviously, I like I really 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 like the company I'm working for and. I really want to learn a lot more before I do my own stuff because I honestly don't think there's a point in starting your own shit when you don't like it's so much faster to just learn from other people and then do it yourself later on like it's so it, it's so much easier um by people's past mistakes that's what I said in my, my video if you haven't watched the reason why I spend all my money but I'm at the point where I don't need to spend all my money I should start stacking I can make money now and I spent the money so I can make more money, but I'm at the point where I can make, I can consistently make more and more and more and more and more money. And I'll hit the point where I need to grow the pipeline, but like, I don't need to spend a lot of money to grow it anymore. I can just stack. I don't know why I'm talking about this stuff on the fitness side of the channel, but this also goes with me working out more because the more money I have the more I can focus on fitness right <laughs> if I can go to Thailand just fucking just travel around and work out go to like Muay Thai gyms and fucking train for like a month and then go to Bali and then train for a month or do whatever like just have adventures so 
much. I'm, I'm, I'm pale as shit, so I'm gonna eat some grass. I don't know if it's grass fed beef. It's fucking, it's really good beef though. It's like fucking local beef, so. That's for lunch, dinner, whatever. I'm gonna take a shower, maybe do some work for a bit, and then get this pot thing set up. I'm gonna plant some fucking plants today. So I got tomatoes growing for me. And I don't have to go to the store and buy fruit. Because if I could get just fruit, like, oh, I want some fruit, just go out there and grab some strawberries and fucking tomatoes. It's gonna be so good. All right. I'm submitting a fucking complaint because the grills don't work. So, I got these two sirloins, gonna drop them in the pan. It's heating up, got the beef tallow. So, they'll, be still, they'll still be pretty good. They just won't be as good as a grill, you know? <sighs> how the fuck, I don't understand how the grill is like, the, I guess there's no gas or something. I don't know. Gas didn't turn on. Or somebody shut it off. Fuckers. Other people were using it yesterday, so. And they also fucking use a... Like, don't know how to clean a grill. Like, it's just disgusting after. Anyways. Whatever. Alright. This uh, camera's gonna die, but these are the two steaks cooked up. And then I got five more eggs. So this is the meal. I'm gonna have another glass of milk as well. And uh, yeah, that's a good ass meal. All right, it's 8.02 right now. I'm heading to bed. I've got the garden planted. Look at that. Amazing. Strawberry. Um, what is that? Three tomato plants, a uh, cabbage thing. Um, another strawberry, three strawberries actually, three tomato plants, onions, and two cucumbers. So that is, that's what's on the menu. Wait, let me, that's what's on the menu for the next fucking however long it takes to grow them shit. Um, this is day 89, or is it 90? It's 90. This is day 90, tomorrow is arms. I'm fucking excited to get, just just grab the cables right in there. Literally the perfect exercise. I don't, I don't think anything could get better than that. Just right here, boom. You'll see it tomorrow, tune in. Let's go. Day 90, three months. It's Monday tomorrow, so fucking gotta dial the in. Let's go.